why this this is saint petersburg russia and the question is why do they have nice things chat um chime in anytime. Yeah, we'll Can anybody tell me why they have nice things? Because when they bump into each other, they both say, I'm sorry. <laughs> if that ever happens. They don't got no, didn't do nothings over there. Yeah, they don't even have no a la Akbars over here. Like, yo, them two would have been, at some point in their life, they would have been sucker punched by a random son. Like, they both would have had a story. If you, if they, if, if this wasn't a homogeneous country, both these women would have a story of being, like, either menaced or sucker punched by something on the street randomly. Yo, listen, <laughs> when people say if you got rid of sons, the crime rate would go, would go down to virtually nothing, this is what they mean. The energy is different. These people, these people have a different energy. Now, yes, will they fucking mob up and go kill this former army and go take some other people's shit? If you invade them, will they mob up and fight you and shit? And use superior weaponry and shit. Will, will one of these will, will, will one of these people be a serial killer and kill a hundred people over a 20-year period? Yeah, I mean you're gonna have that shit, but look at the civility. Look at this shit. Look at how they just the energy they move with, it's different. They're different. This also, like I said, 10 sun men could come here and just start punching women in the street and these guys would just be looking stupid. So it, it's not necessarily a de definitely a great thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they did create the AK-47. Right, they did, and then and 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 they and they give and in every invention they give away. Like, listen, who uses AK-47s in homogeneous white countries the most? Go to any white country, historically white country, and who is ninety percent of the people that use AK-47s in, in public? <laughs> Mm, we know. <laughs> Look at how the women act. The women are just very, 
when they're not influenced by sun women, you know, when they're not trying to be boom, sh like that one chick in the video earlier, when they just like only influences other glider women. <laughs> All these women would be would be would be woke if 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 sons came into their country. All these women would be talking about uh Jesus white men are black. evil and and we need this to repent for what we've done in the past and shit to give them free stuff. All these women, but w without that, they're just normal people. Yeah, the government over there would probably put the kibosh on that, but Without a doubt, they don't need that anymore. They've got those people pretty much under control. These people don't look oppressed, man. Whatever you're talking about, like the government, they look whatever their government's doing is for their own good. Whatever, whatever, whatever Western, whatever America and Western media is portraying these people to be. Evil fucking red army people. No, no, the people in Russia. No, but where I mean, would you Jesus rather? Is... Where would you rather live? I wouldn't want to live in Russia. Fuck no, man! You fucking say the wrong thing in that country, they'll get you. I wouldn't want to live in Britain either. I'll do the same. What do thing. you mean the wrong thing? What would be the wrong? What would you have to say wrong? Do you think those guys can insult Putin? Why would you insult him? Look what he's created for no, no, you. No, 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 no. But what if you did? Hold, again, hold again. Up. Why would you insult him? Why would you? I'm good. <laughs> but if you why did, you... that's the point. Well, well, if you did, listen. If you did, you deserve it. That's what I if mean. I don't like want to live. It, I don't want to live in it. I don't. I mean, you might want to live in a country like that. That's fine. Uh, anybody but else? I, anybody? In, all right, all right, I got. I got you. Anybody else? I, I, I like the fact that he he makes sure he doesn't have like. He don't care if you're gay, but he he don't want that gay parade shit. All out in the open. Like there's nowhere in America that looks like this. Nowhere. Listen, I okay. I was in um. I was in Manhattan last year. The trendy parts, like Soho, um, Midtown, shit like that, right? And man, it's grimy. It's yes, you have this. Yes, you have blocks that look like this, but they got homeless dudes talking to themselves. They got some men lurking. They got transients wandering. They got panhandlers everywhere. Yes, it looks like this for the most part. But you have all that other stuff. You got do crazy sun men driving reckless in the street and shit, running lights and shit. You got boom shika and shit um, standing at the bus stop with her kids. Sucking on a lollipop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, I mean, it depends on. I mean, there's there's places in every country that look like this. You could go to Cuba, and there'll be places that look like this. Nah, not absolutely, Cuba. absolutely. There's places with with great health care and everything in Cuba. <laughs> with certain people. Nah, it ain't. It ain't no. Listen, this is homogeneous uh, white people that get to live uh, around other white people. White people. White people do better when they live around each other, man. They 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 don't they don't do well in in multicultural societies. Right. It depends on the and it also depends on the government structure. I mean, they moved away from from Jesus, dude. White Chinese people himself. don't do well in any multicultural society anywhere, man. They don't do their societies. They don't do well where they're all white. Depends on what the government's like. Like if you look at Russia back in the early 1900s, millions of people were dying. That's what you were told. That is the truth. That's not what but you those were people, told. Those people, those people died because they were under. They, yo, know, there was, there was, there were factors like they were, they were. I, I, give, I give one pushback. I one pushback. Uh, um, uh, 
Stalin was a little psychotic, but but I'm no, I'm not saying that he didn't send his soldiers into war. He he didn't kill off a bunch of um his soldiers. He he sent them into war long after the war was was over just to kill off a bunch of the young men because he didn't want a bunch of military aged young men in his country coming back after war. He didn't want. Yeah. He was definitely a psych. I'm not saying that he wasn't. But a psych. look at the Bolsheviks. Like the Bolsheviks, they murdered people just because they were religious. No, I, and, <laughs> and 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 I'm not. And I'm not that, saying and that's, that. That's the kind of country you want to live yeah. in. Like that's where all I, the whites are doing great. Hold on, but we're talking about now, man. We're talking about modern. We're talking about now, about, like, I, right, like right, Iceland, about, Poland, Iceland, right, but, Poland. But, but, yeah, but what I'm trying about. what I'm trying to explain to you is that it depends upon something that I'm not talking government. about. You're trying no, to you're, you're, you know, you're you know you're saying that all whites would be great as long as they're around whites. I'm saying the structure of your government matters a lot. No, but in modern times, in modern it's not times, nothing. in huh, in modern times where where people have embraced capitalism more and free trade, yeah, they're doing better. Definitely. But if people ever go back to not embracing that, then you'll see shit like this again. Then you'll see shit where people get killed, the people are starving or anything like that. It's a, it's not just like I'm not disagreeing that homogeny isn't good. I'm just saying it's not everything. I got you, itself. man. You got you got you got to stop saying things over and over again, because sometimes you make your point. And then you keep saying it every fucking five seconds. It's like, I got that, man. What I'm saying is now in the world where we live now, well, would you rather live here or would you rather live in a multicultural city? In a you mean as far as I'm sure oh, that city God, probably Jesus is better. Christ. Never mind, man. Never mind. Never mind, man. It's no. TNA, man. You gotta fix everything. <laughs> OG yeah. man. I, I love gliders though. Exactly. They, just, they just gotta fix everything. <laughs> yeah, man. Never mind, man. Never mind. Never mind. Um, oh, take a poll there. Let me let me let me take let me put a poll up, man, Paul. Um yeah, man. Let me let me do a poll, man. Um to the, for the people, man. God damn, man! I had a bad yeah, date. We too. Yeah, I repeat, but I don't, I don't. I repeat, but I don't repeat like that. I repeat for emphasis to put emphasis on things. I don't repeat. You ain't gonna ask me ten different questions, and I'm gonna give you the same answer for all ten different questions. Um, let me see. Everyone, take Ox pool. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> wow. And the same thing happened to me, man. I, I went out on a date with this this glider woman. I said a couple couple stuff in the show that I talked. Man, that shit was done. <laughs> she ain't never called me again. Yeah. <laughs> So, I said, yo, I got to learn to shut my mouth, man. Yeah. He's talking about black on black crown. Not really. I just I just kept it. I kept it G, but she was sort of lipped. Lip, she was a little liberal. Oh, yeah. She, she snuck that in. Yeah. Yeah. You to uh, cleanse your jeans. Uh, nah, you know, just I just needed to bust a nut. Fuck it. Oh, you just wanted to be happy. Yeah. But What's up, man. Let me see. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Um. This is this right here, man. Listen. I would rather live here than listen. Just the energy of the people, man. Now I know my energy is much different than I have sun energy, man. I'm not sitting here acting like, oh, it's them, the them, them people black. They like I would this girl right here, I'd have been 
staring at her and shit. Like, hold on, this one. I'd have been staring. She'd have, she'd have, she'd have been taken aback by my gaze. They talk about the white gaze. Nobody <laughs> ever talk about the black gaze. What about the black gaze? The black gaze, man. Shit, and your prom man. too. <laughs> <laughs> Some man would have been lasciviously looking at that joint, man. Um, lasciviously eyeing, eyeballing her. She would have looked up and just seen nostrils. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would have been like, and 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 listen, man, I I take up more space. Like, like I'm not trying to say I don't move out of people's way. I, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie about that. I'm polite, but the way I walk. Bop and the, 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 like the, we we take up more space in public. We have a different um, orientation to public life. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. somebody might call me and I'd be like, "Yo, what's up, man? Shit, what's going on? Over oh, real, where y'all at?" And like loud, you don't hear none of that in here. <laughs> Even the music playing, it's not like nigga, I shoot you, tie up your grandmother, at my bricks, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the music is different. You know what I'm saying? Trash. Do you see any trash? Like, Damn, yo, no trash. There will be trash everywhere. Not just some trash. Everywhere. Like, look at that. There go a piece of trash. Hold on, time. I, I spotted a piece of trash, man. Where is it at? Right there. Supposed there you go. Cool. Yeah, we both the same, man. It's just, we the exact same, man. <laughs> ain't nothing. Ain't there's no differences, man. See, they got trash too, man. Um, like this old guy, like somebody would have punched him. This old guy, like this old guy, his safety is guaranteed in public. This old guy's safety is guaranteed. Like nothing is ever going to happen to him. He would have got knocked out already. Somebody might punch him. Somebody might punch him and just keep walking. Every all the women are looking down at their phones. What did we hear the women say in, in a few weeks ago in New York? Yeah, I, oh, it's my fault. I, I shouldn't have had my earbuds in. Yeah, I was looking at my phone. I got I, I can't do that. Mm. It was my fault. I had they were basically blaming themselves for looking at their phones and not paying attention. Look, the the crosswalk. There's no cars like trying to like get through, sneak through when it's a little break. <laughs> it's a little like, you know how we is like if it's a little break, we try yeah, to get through there, yeah. right. <laughs> Everybody else, y'all gonna have to wait. I gotta get the fuck through this drink. Uh, man. I'm inching every time I see a little space. I'm inching in that motherfucker. And even if some of these people are psychopaths or evil people, the I'm not talking about that. I'm some of these people may be the biggest assholes and bitches you'd ever meet in life. But look at the way they, 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 the way they behave publicly. You might get this, you might get this chick behind closed doors, and you might want to fucking kill her. You might kill this bitch because she's such a bitch. If you were in, the, if you were stuck in a room with her. But look at the way she behaves publicly. This guy could be the biggest asshole prick you'd ever want, you'd ever meet in your life. Were there any comments on the video? Was it put up in like a black channel or a white channel? Nah, this is a white channel, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely in the least. They said no blacks. No Muslims either. Let's be honest. No Muslims, no Hispanics either. So yeah. let's not just say there's no blacks. There's no, if there was some, 
if they had if, if they Im, Im, imported a bunch of Syrians and fucking yeah, it would look damn. different too. Yo, those women would be getting gang raped. It would be rape circles and shit, and rape yeah, gang much, rapes would be rampant. Yeah, the gang. Yeah, the uh, you know, the circle gang rape shit. Yeah, and there'd be a bunch of bitches walking around looking like uh ninjas and shit. Hell yeah, their women would be fucking ghost looking like they was Halloween going to Halloween as ghosts and shit, man. Yeah, they they all understand. It's 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 the it's the homogeneity of it, man. Look civilized. It says no Jews. Oh really? Oh yeah. It says it says no Jews, no Jews to force them, no Jews to force immigration on them. And they actually have a strong republic. And if their leaders do things outside of the country's best interest, then they face harsh consequences, unlike everywhere else in Europe and America. I thought there was a lot of Jews in the uh, Russian government. I'm yeah, I did too. I did yeah. too, man. Yeah, there still is. Hey, Ak, if I get my two cents in on this, um, I think that you and uh, Homie are like exactly like 50-50, right? You're like, you're both correct. I mean, I remember going to Europe like, you know, a decade or so ago. And yeah, I did feel like right at home. It is like fucking heaven on earth. I'm not going to lie. Um, but at the same time, that that government is repressive as shit. I mean, you tweet mm -hmm. the wrong thing, you are getting that knock on the door. So I, I would still rather take my chances in fucking mm -hmm. dangerous New York City or fucking Detroit, man. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you know what? And, and listen, man. Those could be your American sensibilities, right? Like you're born and raised in America, right? Yeah. So you can't compare yourself to somebody born and raised in Russia. Somebody born and raised in Russia might not have those sensibilities or those wants or those desires or that or that expectation. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm like glad you said expectations. Yeah, was, you, you're right. What? Well, I was going to say, because you said expectations, and that's another thing, too. Like, yeah, these people here on this particular strip, they look like they're doing all right. But in that country, man, the average person really doesn't yeah. have that much cheddar. I mean, we got, we got way no, more. No, hold, hold, hold on, hold, hold on. But even in those places, did you go to those places where those people didn't have a lot of money? I personally never been to Russia. I'm just talking about, like, Europe, kind of. But okay. um, Russia's its countries, own, like, like, own animal, you know. In those countries, is the crime rate similar to Detroit or Memphis? Are you talking about in Russia, the cities there? No, any homogeneous white place you've been to where they're poor people. Uh, no, not really. I doubt is it. it yeah, is it anywhere it's close? Is it anywhere close to that? No, not at all. Is no, it? Is it, it? Could it? Could it? Could if you made a spectrum from A to Z, where would the white and, and Z be in the black community? Any black community, DC, Baltimore, anywhere. Where would the where would the um white the poor white area be? Uh maybe like C. <laughs> yeah. Another thing too, so, though, I I, I had to Craig Dude on here uh, a second ago because he was saying that you know Russia murdering because they they did kill like you know anywhere between thirty to sixty million of their own people. However, that's he's talking about the prior to right before right before world war ii he's talking about the 20s uh the right. 1920s and um that 80 percent of their government it is proven was in fact juice crew so that that is why all that shit went down uh if, if they were just left to their own devices the russian people themselves are, are basically kind of similar to europeans uh, and actually have a pretty beautiful culture um but i do agree with you Ak. i mean just watching this video i mean this looks utterly fantastic you know i mean if only they had a constitution that was shit maybe just like a fucking quarter of like what ours but is what, but here's the thing you gotta understand and, and salute to odo he says juice crew no longer runs um um russia oh, that's know. false that that's okay. false the soviet union fell in 91 when it fell all the wealthy rich juice crew um oligarchs they bought up most of the industry and business it still ran by uh, Russia's ran by the oligarchs, the juice crew oligarchs. Putin does not put them down at all. He does nothing but uplift them. Um, so that is false. So tell right, me this. Wanna... So let, let me just ask this right quick. So 
why are they not forcing immigration on them and, and all the wokey woke shit, transgender, and, or are they? And we're just not seeing it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, someone in the chat had, had said it as well a few moments ago that, you know, Putin's like allowing mosques and shit. Um, so some cultures are obviously more difficult to penetrate. Another really difficult country to penetrate is fucking Japan. Japan's had like 0.01 immigration the last like century, but that's starting to change as well. So, and you know, Saudi Arabia, those women there, they're, they're able to drive now. They're starting to kind of get westernized. Cool. So the, whole, the whole world's getting westernized. Yeah, but at the, at the end of the day, even when the Bolsheviks did that, I mean, like in China, they did communism and they killed millions of people. I don't think the Jews are responsible for that. Uh, no, no, no. Juice crews, Juice crews. It, it's literally, if you look at Marx, Engels, all the inventors of that ideology are, in fact, Juice crews. So, yeah, that, that ideology simply spread to China, and then the Communist Party still follows that same ideology. Yeah, but it's still your it. fault for doing but, it. But, but, I mean, but, that's, like, that's like if I put a big bag of crack in your face and you do it. Who's the fuck fault is that? Well, sure. I'm just saying a, a moment ago, you you were trying to make the point of, oh, you know, there are some, you know, it can be an all a homogeneous white country and still be shitty. Right. But, but China uh, was a homogeneous country and it was still <laughs> shitty. Well, I'm not talking about, you're, you're talking about a, a different race. Accra here is focusing on gliders. So if you look at glider societies with Russia, let's pretend Russia is the one outlier, which I'm telling you, if there was zero juice crew influence in that country, communism would have never taken hold. It was a strong Christian nature prior to the Bolshevik revolution that took place uh, as a result of the juice crew in the 1920s. Um, but let's 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 put Russia to the side. Can you name a single like like Aqua's asking you, can you name a single other glider civilization that's hom homogenous that's had issues like that? That's had can issues you, with tyrants? Uh, we're just talking about a shitty place to live. I mean, that's the main topic here. Yeah, we're not saying well, I mean, it depends not, upon your it depends upon your definition of what like it's like you said. Can you, you want walk to down speak? the street? Can you can you can, can a woman walk down the street? Um, in, in public without getting punched in the face by a random person. Yeah, or cat can, called or something. Yeah. Can 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 is there dirt litter everywhere? Is 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 is, is the expectation that some crazy woman person is gonna get on the train and start menacing everybody? Yeah, like I said, I like you're asking about crime statistics, not not necessarily whether or not we're talking about communism and just the fact no, that communism you're turns talking everything about shitty. communism. No, that's what me, no, that's what me and, and 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 the new guy are having a conversation about. And what I'm saying is, it depends. Like for instance, you know, there's Mussolini in Italy. No, he, he, that's not what he just asked you, though. Man. You know, but was there another was there another white you, country you at another name, period in time? Listen, listen, <laughs> you, you can't pick a period in history where there was fucking all kinds of political turbulence because all kinds of shit was going on. We're talking about just normal quality of life in a homogenous society. And Russia would be like the only outlier. And then again, Aka, I do have to defend him to a degree, however, though, because St. Petersburg and Moscow are like Russia's, that, that is the her best two cities. Right. Other than that, Russia right. pretty much is the trailer park uh, of the world. If you see any other footage of Russia, it kind of is white folks and, and Ukraine, parts of Ukraine. It kind of is gliders living in kind of like third world kind of conditions, you know, so right. St. St. Petersburg is the absolute jewel of Russia. No, I got that. I'm not saying it, but what I'm saying is even in those places, like for instance, a, a small white town in West Virginia where everybody's dirt poor in the, the 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 um the mines or the whatever the industry was shut down the steel mill shut down 30 years ago and is and everybody's in and, and and if you get a job as a cashier at the target in the next town over you're fucking like the shit in your family right yeah. in those towns there's one murder every four or five years True, true. The town will look run down and all fucked up, but your crime will still be low, and you'll still have people with the re with really solid morals and shit like that. You're right. So yeah, man. Let me move on, man. Um, yeah, I'll hop off, man. I just, I just, I just had to come up here for that, man. That's oh, all. I, I, did, right, I, do a, man. I did a lot of studying with Russia and shit, man. S salute, man. Everybody go over the rumble, man. Everybody over the rumble, man. Everybody over the rumble. Everybody over the rumble, man. Rumble, 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 rumble. I'm a little late getting over the rumble, but whatever, man. Um, a little late getting over there, man. I thought I was gonna get over there too. Um, argue with this damn fool soul, man. Um, 
Damn. <laughs> yeah, man, God damn, man. You, you, you yeah. always say you want people on this fucking show that push back. You always no, say that. No, but what I'm saying is, it's a difference between pushing back and goddamn <laughs> saying the same thing every. Like, I don't say the same thing every time. I no, you say the same shit every time. No, no. <laughs> when, 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 when somebody asks you a question, you answer the last question. Like if I ask you ten a series of ten questions, you're gonna give the same answer for the first. I'm just gonna give a more complex answer than yes or no. <laughs> That's the problem. You just want a yes or no. That's what you no, want. I mean, I would I would just like you to answer the the new question. I will answer any new question that you give me. <laughs> The, the, the current question, the latest of the questions, answer that. Don't answer the, the well, question. What is the latest of the questions? Just remind I ain't, me. So I ain't, I'm not going down that road. So I, don't answer, so I don't answer an old question by accident. Um, I'm, 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 I'm scared to ask you another question, man. Let me um, all right, all let's right. see. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to show y'all something, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this this thing. I don't even know if this, this BLM thing, this dust up. I don't even YouTube is on my ass so hard that I didn't even think I could show you this BLM thing on YouTube. This BLM guy getting into it with the cops. 